One group of House members wants to sue the president now. Well, until now, courts have basically refused to let House members slap the executive branch with a lawsuit. But after some lawmakers say President Obama overstepped his bounds on health care and immigration, several members say they have a strategy to take him to court. Shannon Bream is in Washington with the explanation. This is big news. Shannon, what do you know? Well, Gretchen, backers of this effort say they want the entire House as an institutional body to sue the executive branch. They're basing this on the theory that a co-equal branch is refusing to do its job, namely upholding duly passed laws. George Washington University law professor Jonathan Turley, who's been a big supporter of both the president and his policies, thinks House members may actually have a shot here, given the president's decisions to ignore or radically modify laws without ever going through Congress. Here's what he told me. Unfortunately, I believe the president, as a constitutional scholar, uh, has disregarded many of the principles that he once taught. That's what makes this a rather premeditated violation of the Constitution. On the other side, Simon Lazarus, senior counsel for the Constitutional Accountability Center, counters, saying the president is doing his job by modifying the laws so they actually work. Here's his take. That means that he has to have show reasonable judgment and not be some sort of mindless robot uh, in, in uh, carrying laws into effect. Uh, and that's exactly what he's doing here. So far, that House resolution has 29 co-sponsors signed on. Gretchen, we'll keep an eye on it. All right. Uh, thanks so much, Shannon, for that update.